what defines the life of someone who's a creator is their own creatorship. Love never faileth. Love is present and looking to find expression. That's what matters. This is about doing what the Creator does through us when we allow that larger will, the will of the Creator, to come through us. The Creator takes responsibility for his or her creation. What else would the Creator do? We can't picture the Creator walking away from the planet or from the solar system. No. The Creator of the solar system is holding the solar system. That creative power is operating it, taking responsibility for it, has authority for it, and with it, has the ability to operate it. And the same is true when we're in our creatorship, when the sovereign being is present for us, we're present as that. We create, we have authority in what we create, we have response, a natural responsibility just because it's ours. Our life is ours, our world is ours, our creations are ours. When we learn this individually, when we come into masterful creatorship individually, and when we even go on that path, we become interested in others who are sharing that with us. Now, I think that for me is true at any level of my life. I've always loved working with creative people, even if they weren't that spiritually conscious. But now let's bring it into the spiritual arena where are the spiritually capable people who have not only opened up to their interest and desire and their search for the spiritual, their openness to it, but have truly let it in and let it through and assumed the discipline of being a creator who know for themselves that love never faileth. And because love never fails, I never fail. I'm, I'm present in that expression. And it doesn't mean I don't make mistakes. And it doesn't mean I never have setbacks. But I am here present in the expression of love. Seeing creation through the process of creation. When we're providing a temple for sovereign being to be present in the structure of our personality in the place of the Most High and us, we are not only providing a temple for our individual aspect of creatorship, of being, we are connecting to all that because our sovereign being is connected to all of sovereign being, is in relationship to all that. We are calling down the ordering pattern of creation out of being into expression through our psyche, through our consciousness, and through what we're expressing and embodying in the world. <clears throat> 